And greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, this is more than a little bit uh, uh, unnerving. And again, I, I don't think it's anything necessarily overly mysterious, but it, it's worth mentioning. Anchorage Daily News, a couple, I think it might be the first time they're on here. Welcome aboard. A couple, their baby, and their dog died on a California hiking trail. And officials don't know why. They're guessing it could be methane in the water or something, but th this is strange. You can see them there. This is very odd. Uh, the Mariposa, California home of John Garish and Ellen Chung was quiet on August 16th when their one-year-old daughter's nanny arrived. Uh, the family, including the dog, Oski, was nowhere to be found. Their truck was missing, too, as the hours wore on without a word from Garish or Chung, who had set out on a hike the day before. A sense of panic began to set in. It goes on that the couple's house sits near the head of the Heights Cove Trail, and hours after the family was reported missing at 11 p.m., the trailhead is where police started looking. Um... A sheriff's deputy found the couple's truck parked near the trail's entrance at 2 a.m., according to the San Francisco Chronicle. It also says that nine hours later, and 1.5 miles from the family's truck, in an area known as Devil's Gulch, that's kind of, that'll add to the mystique, I'm sure, a search and rescue team found Garish Chung and their daughter Mihu and the dog, and all of them were dead. Garish was in a seated position with the baby and dog beside him, according to the Chronicle. Chung was a little further up the hill. It says authorities still don't know how it happened. An autopsy recently completed on the bodies yielded no conclusive results about the cause of the death, CNN reported. The toxicology report, which could take several weeks, is pending. That's why I'm saying it's not quite as mysterious as it is. It could have been, you know, I, I hate to think, did, 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 did uh, the mother or the father poison everyone? You know, Is there any history of that? We don't want to jump to that because it could be two innocent people that were poisoned by somebody else. Who knows? Maybe there was no poison. Mm -hmm. My point is that, be, but even making those analogies, I should say, my point is not everything that sounds like a mystery is a mystery, particularly when it happens in Devil's Gulch. But it does get your attention. A, a necropsy is being performed on Osaki the dog, uh, but the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office said <clears throat> no other animals were found dead in the immediate area. Now, that adds to the mystery just a little bit. That's one of the reasons I wanted to put it on the show. Again, the methane leak, there's no reason that only this family and their dog would be dead. It's just so tragic and mysterious, a close family friend, Stephen Jeffy, told the Washington Post on Sunday uh -huh. evening. Garish and Chung moved to Mariposa from San Fran in March of 2000. Uh, when police found their bodies, there was no signs of trauma, the Fresno Bee reported. There was no suicide note, that's good, or indication that the death were intentional, that is also good. Again, it was just the hypothesis I gave earlier. Although temperatures reached as high as 109 degrees the day that the family had hiked, <clears throat> dehydration was deemed unlikely because there was still water in the family's hydration pack, the Chronicle reported. You know what? It's 109! Oh my god! It's like all the whiners in the Olympics. It's so hot in Tokyo! Oh my god! <laughs> I saw children that were like 12, 14 years old in full football gear, in 90 degree weather today, doing just fine when I was taking my walk. It's a hundred, if we take the water and we can't walk further than a block, and oh my god. No, I doubt they dehydrated. I doubt the dog dehydrated. A snake bites have not been ruled out, although that cause is unlikely because there was no physical evidence of wounds. Yeah, and it probably wouldn't have taken out the baby and the dog and everyone else. I hate when they do that. They they, they really come to these far-flung hypothesis, hypothesis thinking, and it's, it's ridiculous. The lack of definitive answers has led investigators to imagine other more unusual causes Carbon monoxide poisoning from a minor toxic algae in the nearby Merced River are among the leading theories. 
Okay, then why are there no other animals dead? Oh, At this point, we can't rule out anything, uh, Mariposa County Sheriff's Deputy Christy Mitchell said. About a month before the family was dead, the U.S. Forest Service warned of a high concentration of algae bloom. I don't, you know, like, anybody think they died of an algae bloom? No, probably not. Even uh, people from the University of California said blooms don't normally high, have uh, high concentrations enough to kill people. And they also had to kill the animals. And the dog would have been smart enough to drink it. What do they do? Pour it down his gullet with a funnel? Poisoning from mines is also a possibility. When the family was found Thursday, first responders uh, treated the scene as a hazmat site because carbon monoxide may have leaked from nearby mines. But the hazmat declaration was lifted on Wednesday, and the cause is looking less likely. We have not found any old mine shafts. So, again, it's a, what do you guys think it is? I, if I had to guess, I hate to say some weird kind of murder or suicide, or uh, Possibly murdered uh, from someone else. I, I'm, I'm guessing here. It, it, it's, it's a mystery. That's why, that's why I wanted to bring it out. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what you think it may be, by all means, uh, let me know. I do think it's interesting that both the baby and the dog are dead with no marks on them. Particularly because a lot of the things which kill humans don't necessarily kill dogs. Uh... Unless it's in high concentrations, and high concentrations you think would have been noted by the hazmat crew. So that's some food for thoughts, friends. Let me know what you think, and uh, as always, thanks for listening. Get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com. Good night, God bless. Hit share, hit subscribe, that helps so much.